Healthcare support workers are the key entry point into the NHS. They are at the heart of our patient care delivery and are key value members of staff. We are aware that our vacancy gaps were high across the trust, so we introduced a centralised healthcare support worker um, recruitment team. That team consists of a healthcare support worker project lead, a healthcare support worker recruitment assistant, along with a healthcare support worker practice educator facilitator. I came into the project a little way in. What we do now is we, we're with them every step of the way. We start with their training at the very beginning. They, they see me and my colleagues in the classroom and then we follow that up through into the clinical areas. We're there for them at any time that they need us. And um, I suppose having that familiar face and knowing that there's somebody you can come to makes a huge difference, which is, is shown in the retention. We're working in partnership with Hoople Care to bring together our resources to double up our efforts to recruit healthcare support workers across Herefordshire. The team works together to ensure that we provide the best outcomes for our healthcare support workers in their positions at the NHS. We're offering solid um, training, quite a comprehensive training programme. We include the care certificate if people haven't already got it and clinical observation. So the, clin the care certificate covers um, the fundamentals of care and that's things that you would assume that would be easy to do for somebody else because you do them on yourself, like cleaning your teeth or having a wash or helping somebody go to the toilet. But there's lots of other things that you need to take into consideration when you're doing that for somebody else. Um, and then there's the other end of the spectrum. We are an acute hospital. We have acutely unwell patients and we need to make sure that any deterioration in that patient is being recognised early and we do that through taking clinical observations and teaching them how to escalate and communicate to other team members um, in an urgent yet appropriate manner so that the message gets through so the help can get to the patients. We secured funding from NHS England to support with the programme. We have maximised opportunities to attract local staff via social media routes, um, recruitment campaigns, marketing companies also. We're trying to prioritise or get people in that are new to care as well, so we're kind of growing our own staff. So it's about preparing them and then keeping them going and, and helping them progress through a career ladder as well if they want to. We introduced a career progression pathway, which means healthcare support workers can develop through to senior healthcare support workers, right through to registered nurse degree apprenticeships. We've had targeted recruitment events um, that we've facilitated with open days, local market stalls, promoting at local colleges. We're also working in partnership with the local job centre to maximise opportunities across the NHS. The vacancy gap so far has reduced significantly, which has had a positive impact on the care that we deliver to our patients. We'd like to thank the clinical teams for their support with the centralised recruitment approach to healthcare support workers. I'd also like to thank everyone within the human resources and education teams for their continued dedication and communication throughout the programme. I would like to thank all of the team members in the education and development team and actually in recruitment as well because um, we all work together very hard to maintain this um, momentum.